Hey guys, um, uh, got some hor a couple horror things planned for today. Uh, I'll be watching a horror film, and today we're gonna be unboxing a horror movie, one that came out this year. That is The Boogeyman, released in 2023, um, directed by Rob Savage, written by Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Oh, and also Mark Heyman. Um, yeah, this is a, the movie that was meant to go to Hulu, but was pushed to theaters instead. And I think because it got a theatrical release, we now have a physical release of it. Let's take a look. So, Blu-ray plus digital code. From the mind of Stephen King. Yep, this is based on one of Stephen King's short stories. Bo the Boogeyman. Um, the little girl from the movie with the glowing ball and the boogeyman probably in there. Um, it's, it's, it's an all right poster. I would have liked if they preferred, or no, wait, what am I saying? I would have liked it if they used like the, the hand, like kind of the red poster with the hand like this. I, I feel like that would have been a much better one. But, um, I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Um, so on the side, um, Blu-ray disc logo, the Boogeyman picture from the front poster up there, and 20th Century Studios. On the back, um, it's a quote saying the scariest horror film of the year. I mean, this is really good, but I, I do, I'd have to give Talk to Me the honor of scariest film this year. Um, two features, um, Into the Darkness and Outtakes. Um, blurbs and stuff. Um, since this was, um, produced by Sean Levy, his company 21 Laps Entertainment was also credited on there. But here's a strange thing. This movie is, like, eligible with Disney Movie Insiders. Um... Now, if you follow Disney Movie Insiders on Instagram, you can tell, like, whenever they post a poster for a movie, it'll say, like, that it's el eligible. But Disney Movie Insiders did not post any promotion or anything for The Boogeyman. So I find that kind of weird. And um, content advisory contains tobacco depictions. I don't get why they had to add it on there. And um, some flashing light scenes in this film may it affect photosensitive, uh, photosensitive viewers, which they also had on The Rise of Skywalker. And if you watch the finale of that film, you can definitely tell. Um, but yeah, let's get this opened up. Um, um, Just really glad this one got to have a physical release because I noticed that some of the horror films 20th century release didn't get physical releases like The Empty Man and Barbarian. But I do hope someday, like since we're getting some titles on physical like Prey, I do hope we can go back to that, like having all of the ones that didn't get physical releases on physical. And thankfully, The Boogeyman was able to survive that curse from just being on streaming only to now on physical. Um, here's disc standard Disney blue disc. And then um, the whole Disney Movie Insiders thing. Um, Disney Movie Club. And they've got profiles for some of the different studios. I know, like, for some Disney um, press conferences, they had, like, Call of the Wild for the 20th Century section. But now Avatar has it. Or, actually, actually, right here, um, I think this was made during, like, the 2020. Like, they had Call of the Wild right there. Huh. So, yeah, um...
Huh. Looks like this case is kind of broken. Oh yeah, this part right here is just broken, but I can fix that. I'm just very happy to have this.